This is a Bakken BK701D. It's a 700 watt hot air and soldering iron, a solder rework station. So I was sent this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase one, it would cost you around $109. Although I've seen um, it listed with a 20% off coupon at times. They haven't paid me for my review and my opinions remain my own. All right, there's a yellow warning sticker here. It says, hey, remove the cross screws on the bottom before using, put them back before shipping. Um, they have a similar sticker identifying the cross screws to remove. I imagine that's to hold something like the fan unit in place and keep it from vibrating during shipping. Comes with a standard kind of computer style power cord. A decent number of accessories. So in addition to the hot air rework gun, um, it also comes with your standard soldering iron. And there's a couple of different tips for the hot air gun. And there's a couple of different tips for the soldering iron. There's this guy to hold the soldering iron. Um, and it has a little set of tweezers, a little solder sucker here. It has a coil of solder, a desoldering braid, as well as one of these so you can clean your um, tip of your soldering iron with it. So it's a pretty complete set for doing soldering. It doesn't include flux and in some of the liquid solder you might need for surface mount components, however. First up, we're just going to try the regular soldering iron. I don't like this kind of knife tip here, so I'm going to unscrew this guy, pull that knife tip off, and I think I'm going to change it out for a much smaller kind of flathead tip here. Um, and so we have the heating element and temperature sensor there. This guy just goes down over them, and then this guy goes on top. You can tighten it down and now it's ready to go. Of course, you have to wait for it to completely cool before you do that. And I like the fact there's plenty of holes here to store all of your extra tips on both sides of the soldering station. All right, I reach around, there's a switch on the back. When I turn the back switch on, there's little red lights here, and there's a slight humming noise from the power supply inside. I like the lights to tell you the machine's on so you don't leave it on accidentally. You, know, you can always reach around the back and turn it off. So we have these guys with the dashes, so it's not heated up yet. We turn it on, it has a temperature setting, um, and it is rapidly climbing right now. So if I say down, it says 379, I can go up, and it will move up to say 400. Um, and I'm going to make the assumption this is a centigrade reading. I'm not certain of that, but I just make that assumption. So since this is the first time I've used this tip, I'm going to be pretty liberal tinning it. And then I can turn that guy off. And it has just dots, but the tip is still hot, so it does not display the current temperature when it's turned off. All right, we're going to turn this back on. It says 270, 280. It's climbing up to 400 very quickly. So right there, we're at 400 again. All right, so the soldering station worked exactly as I would expect. I was very impressed with how quickly it heated up to temperature. Um, so I am going to take advantage of the fact that this guy is a hot air rework station now, um, and I'm just going to use the hot air rework system to heat up and shrink this shrink tubing that I have going over my join here. Not necessarily the common use of the hot air rework station, but it should work for that very well. Now we're not going to need much heat at all for this, um, so I'm pushing this down button quite a bit, and that's 200 centigrade, and you can adjust the amount of air up and down. It's a very low air or full speed air. And that's already putting out quite warm air. 
So here we go with the shrink tubing. Certainly cleaner than using a uh, lighter. And it's very closely directed with this small tip here. So that makes shrink tubing very nice. Now it's still blowing air while the temperature goes down. So we're waiting for the temperature to get low enough and I think the air is going to automatically turn off once this temperature reaches a safe point. Um, so unlike the iron, it does keep maintaining the temperature display while it's turned off. It got down there and it went safe and so it's turned off. Now it's still hot out here. You wouldn't want to touch it, but it's not like super, super hot. And then before I leave this guy alone, I just reach around, turn off power to the whole thing. This is a Google Pixel 5a motherboard. And we are getting a problem where the screen gets colorful snow. Um, and it's not a screen problem, it's a graphics chip or connection on the motherboard type problem. I don't know what I need to reflow. Lots of things are hiding underneath this guy, and there's things on the other side of the circuit board hiding underneath something like this guy, which I'm not going to take off to reflow this. So I am going to hit this whole general area, anything around the graphics connection port and this guy here and the thing that's underneath it. Um, we're going to hit it with about 300 degrees centigrade and I am hoping that I will reflow some solder somewhere that will fix the problem. All right, I have the flow level set extremely low here and the temperature at 300 centigrade. And we're just going to hold it like this. So I can smell things heating up. All right, that's been five minutes. So we're gonna leave it for another five or 10 minutes to cool down. All right, well, the screen is working now, but I can't guarantee it'll always work in the future. But the fact that it booted up and is running is a good sign. And both cameras still work as a bonus. So this is a relatively simple, it's quite inexpensive, rework station, um, but it has all the main features you need. You got a soldering station, it's temperature controlled, you have the airflow, you can control the temperature, you control the amount of air, a couple of different tips. Um, you know, this is really all you need for a basic soldering station. Um, and I've been pretty happy with this guy.